Forks and spoons, forks and spoons. This is the way we eat our food. Forks and spoons, forks and spoons. Hi everybody, it's Sarah, your friendly occupational therapist. And I'm here to help you with a new problem you might be facing. But first, this face might be familiar if you've seen my adult exercise video. If you haven't, we're gonna give you a quick recap. So we're gonna wipe. We're gonna pretend like we're wiping the shelves, preparing to put our cans away. And we're gonna come up to the next shelf and we're gonna wipe that shelf too. And then finally that top, tippy top shelf. We're gonna stretch, really use that arm up there. We're gonna do one, two, three more wipes, okay. And then also, we're gonna work on our eating. So let's scoop that food to our mouth. Bring that spoon up, get that food to your mouth. Don't wanna spill any. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about eating and feeding. And I'm here for you if you have a picky eater or if meal times are a struggle, we're here to help. Send your kids to the Picky Eater Academy and we will help them with all their food related problems. Do they have problems with? So the next thing we're gonna talk about is we're gonna to try to relax that jaw and prepare your kid to eat and try to decrease some of that maybe negative behavior when it's meal time. So we're gonna demonstrate here on Liesl. So we're gonna come straight down, let it go, let it go, let it go. So a fun way to incorporate eating into play is to set up an obstacle course and that way Kids get a lot of sensory input, but along the way, they either have to touch or taste or eat certain foods. So it's incorporating kind of a fun thing with an activity that may be not so fun for them. I did it, I did it. So another way that we can give our children some deep pressure to help is rolling a big ball or something that's kind of a little bit, a little weight to it on top of them. Make it into a game, so make it fun for them. So I'm gonna roll this and say, we're making a pizza. We're gonna I make a pizza. What should we put on our pizza? I love pizza, pepperoni. Okay, let's put some pepperoni, pepperoni, pepperoni. Getting the pepperoni all over the pizza. What else should we put on our pizza? Cheese. Okay, let's, we're gonna spread cheese all over, all over our pizza. Anything else? Sardines. Ooh, that's an interesting choice. <laughs> all right, well, let's put a few sardines. One, two, three, four. All right, we're just gonna roll out our pizza a little bit more. All right. So when we're trying to encourage our kids to eat new foods and to start eating kind of a more diverse range of foods, we have to take it in steps. So we're not gonna expect them to just kind of pick up food and start eating it. We gotta work towards that. So maybe first, we're just gonna set the food in front of them and see how they respond. And maybe from there then build and have, have them touch it. See if they'll touch the food. And then if they'll do that, maybe we'll see if they'll maybe bring it up and smell it or put it to their lips. Maybe see if they'll give it a kiss. Give the cracker a kiss. Good. And just see how they react. Kind of take it from there. 
And then maybe, yeah, maybe they'll put it in their mouth and take a little nibble. And maybe they'll like it, maybe they won't. And yeah, maybe they'll start choking, which is bad. We don't want kids choking. Um, <laughs> but ultimately, we do want to kind of work up to them putting it in their mouth and chewing it and swallowing it. But it is, it's going to happen in steps. So that's a good thing to remember, that it is a process. It's not going to happen all at once. Yay! Before our program, this is what mealtimes might look like. After our program, this is what mealtimes will look like. Help me. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Come on.